Our first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning actress, an Emmy-winning producer, and along with Pieces, one of America's two favorite Reese's, her new movie is called Your Place or Mine. It premieres a week from Friday on Netflix. Please welcome Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Very good to see you. How old were you when you started acting? Um, well, I did my first movie when I was 14 years old. And that movie was? The Man in the Moon. The Man in the yeah. Moon. Yeah, it was called The Man in the Moon. It was for MGM. And I got picked out of nowhere in Nashville, Tennessee. I, they, I saw an ad in a newspaper. It said, do you want to be in a movie? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> um, so I went down to an open audition. And they were like, do you know how to act? And I was like, I've taken a class or two. And so I ended up reading, and then they flew me to L.A., and I got the job. I got a, the lead of a movie. It's a crazy story. It's a crazy story. And the reason I'm asking this is because yeah. we're going to meet my, my nephew a little bit oh, later, who's 13 nephew. years old. I know. And uh, we dug up an interview that you did when you were, oh, I think, 14 no. years old, <laughs> talking about that movie. I think it's interesting because oh, there's a little no. uh, look at the future. Okay. But you know what I think would be really fascinating? 30 years from now, going to the movie, like the, the video store, and uh, running, running the Man in the Moon laser disc, and uh, <laughs> just watching it with my kids, and having my kids understand it. Now, have your kids, which you have now, and you didn't back then, because you were one, have they seen the movie? Uh, two of my kids have seen the movie. On laser disc? No. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has laser discs. Well, you do now. <laughs> there you go. That's crazy. Yeah, I that, assume you have I a player. Okay. Look at that, by the way. Siskel and Ebert gave you a two very enthusiastic thumbs up <laughs> for your first movie. That's a little oh, something for you. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, I know. Now I, I just have to find something to play it on. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't be hard. Do, do, you, do you get me a laser disc? Player? I'll get you one if okay. you really want one, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Was auditioning for movies scary for you at that oh, time? Oh my God, terrifying. You could throw it on there, yeah. You know. Throw it? Yeah, well, well no, no, be careful. It might with crack it. into It's got really lasers in there, you know? There's lasers in it. I can't. <laughs> you kind of want to see it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you. You were Does anybody remember laser discs? Yeah, it was it was the technology that <gasps> kind of never was, but it Y'all, look at that. Everybody said it was the best way. Wow, it's kind of beautiful, actually. That was the future, y'all. Yeah. When you were 14 years old in Nashville, Tennessee, you were like, that is the future. Yeah. <laughs> now I have every one of your movies in my phone, you know? <laughs> yeah. So you were uh, auditioning as a kid. You were... I was. I started out. So after that, I started auditioning a lot, and... Um, I was auditioning, oh, I was so bad at auditioning because I hadn't really, I never studied. I mean, I did some acting classes, but it was terrifying. And like one of the, I remember one of the very first auditions I ever had was with Robert De Niro. Oh, and wow. And Scorsese. What? For a movie called Cape Fear. Oh, yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> you're not in it. <laughs> I'm not in that movie because I got so scared when I walked in the room. I didn't know who Robert De Niro was, so I was standing outside and I was talking to the receptionist. And they were, she was like, you know he's the most important actor of our time. Oh, great. And I was like, I was 14. Like, what did I, I'd never seen Goodfellas. Like, uh, yeah. I'd never seen The Godfather. So it totally got on my nerves. And I went in there and I, I couldn't remember. There was like one word I couldn't say. And he had to say the word for me. It was like, um, uh, was it the F word? No. 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 Because he says that one a lot, it seems yeah. like. <laughs> no, but it was like, I don't know, like super califragilist. I don't know what it was. It was like subconscious or something. And I was like, uh, and he had to finish the lines for me. And then I auditioned for him 10 years later. Oh, you did? And I thought, he's never going to remember that I had. I bricked that audition. And he was like, I remember you. <laughs> he was like, me? He's like, oh, yeah. You're the one who couldn't say the word. And I was like, wow. oh my God, this is so bad. I know, awful. But Did you, now anyway. I know you're uh, producing <laughs> all this stuff now. Yeah. Did you ever have a job behind the scenes? Yeah, actually, I, um, I was an intern on a movie that Denzel Washington 
starred in called Devil in a Blue Dress. Oh yeah, you were. This is after you had acted. Well, I had, and but I, my school had a program where you had to do an internship for two weeks oh. in January, and so I, I was like, oh, I'll get a job, because I wanted to learn the other sides of the business, not just you know being um, doing the acting part. So. I was in pre-production and I had to answer the phone, devil in a blue dress, devil in a blue dress. And then um, whenever Denzel came in, I had to park his Porsche. Really? Which is not a good idea for a 17 year old kid. Was it a, a manual brandy new transmission? Dri driver's license. Oh my God, I stripped all the gears. It was oh, you terrible. did? But the funny story is, is I saw him a few years ago at a wedding and he's like, I've heard you tell this story about how you used to park my Porsche. And I was like, yes, I did. And he's like, but did you know that your costumes on Water for Elephants, who took them in and out of your trailer? And I was like, no, I have no idea. He's my daughter. Oh. And I was like, that is amazing. So it was like this full circle. You should let her ruin your car. <laughs> You know, it's only fair. Yeah, totally. <laughs> By the way, I guess now one of my kids has to, you know, intern for him. For sure. Yeah. Keep that going, yeah. Destroy his next. Did you know Ashton Kutcher before this movie? I, no, I didn't really know Ashton. I met him one time at a party, and, and I thought, you know, I saw him walking through this party. He came in. You know, he's so handsome. He's so tall. He's so from Iowa. <laughs> and um, he's just a really cute guy. And he walked in, and he was with somebody, and he had a cooler. Like he had a cooler at the party, and I thought well, that's interesting. He brings his own. Was he transporting organs, or well, what I was he? <laughs> I mean, he brought I, his own beer I to the party. I did ask him what's in the cooler. Yeah, that's super Iowa. Very but, <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> it wasn't Bud Light. It was. Oh, it wasn't Bud Light. No. But I'm not going to tell y'all what it was because oh. I want it to be like the end of that movie Seven, where it's like if you haven't seen it, then you don't know. <laughs> Very Raiders of the Lost Ark. Well, and you guys play best friends, so you didn't even know each other really. No, we didn't really know each other when we started the movie. So about a month before we started the movie, I said, I, I FaceTimed him and I said, you know what, I think we kind of need to get to know each other because we, in the movie, we have known each other for 20 years. Like we've literally known every boyfriend, girlfriend, every bad story, good story about our parents, everything. And he was like, okay, what do you want to do? And I was like, Every day, I want you to send me a video that's something about your life, and I'm going to send you a video something about my life. And so we did. It was really fun because, you know, he got to see my dogs, and he got to see me drinking on the front porch. And, and what would you send him? Like, what? Um, well, the, the one funny thing, then my kids started getting into it. And so my kids started trash-talking his NFL team, too. I see. Okay. Because he's, he's a big Bears fan. Right, yes. And one of my sons is an Eagles fan. And one of my sons is a Steelers fan. But I see. Yeah. No one is a Bears fan well, in my house. Oh, in your house. Yeah, right, yeah. So the trash talking my boys were doing to Ash, and then he was just like, give it right back to them. So the like, idea the was you would trash. get to know each other, and in a way, he just got to know your kids. He just got into my family. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right, well, when we come back, we're going to meet somebody from my family, actually, he's... and from your movie family. Yes, and he's so amazing. I the can't movie, wait. Uh, Reese Witherspoon is with us. The movie's called Your Place or Mine. We'll be back with uh, Reese's movie kid, Wesley Kimmel. Put on down.